Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer uh, Rising Weekly Tarot reading July 30th to August 5th 2018 So 4 cards for Cancers, the first card that represents the topic for them, this is going to be the 9 of Wands Second card representing the core of the situation, uh, we have the 8 of Swords then is the challenges that Cancerus needs to overcome here. This is going to be uh, the uh, High Priestess. And the last card represents the uh, Guidance from Taro. Is going to be the Eight of so uh, of uh, Wands. Excuse me. So what we do have here, especially as a topic, it does represent a, a patience. And it does represent waiting for the right time to come. Now, uh, it is very important as well to look at this card in conjunction with the, with the core of the situation. Now, the core of the situation situation as uh, in its sense means that it is something that it is undertaking for a quite a while and as we do have the eight of swords that could be a couple of things first thing it could be that you uh, are incapable to reach an, an agreement with somebody or you have uh, been um, how can I place it? You have been placed yourself into a certain situation, probably through a, a promise you have given you have given or by a contract you have signed, you know that there is no way out for this uh, at this current stage of your life. So what you have to do here during that particular week as the topic takes place is patiently try to readjust the situation. So in other words, you need to kind of try to force those um, Mm, conscious changes which are going to slowly but surely start to tra to traversing the situation the way that suits you best all right and that will happen only through patience so if you try to be frantic about it and uh, you know uh, reach swift results this is not the way how you um, how you actually is going to persevere through that week and how you're going to open yourself a uh, windows of opportunity nine of wands it is very important car as well because it does represent the um almost culmination should i say because that card represents the final line it's kind of like the final 200 meters before the uh, the finish line all right and uh, you need to kind of like find within yourself uh, the strength and the durability the endurance to kind of uh, walk those 200 feet until the finish line all right it's just a little bit more cancers and you will have it it is just right now it needs some sort of a, a small readjustments that can be done only by yourself and you need to do that patiently now challenging card here is that we do have the high priestess and this is what i said that you will not be able to uh, to uh, reach results swiftly and in a very fast approach so that card represents rather more planning all right than uh, than action that card represents more like uh, listening to your intuition into your inner voice to your senses instead of like following other people's advices so this is going to be challenging for you instead of following someone else's advices and being told what you need to do to do what you feel is right to do all right so th th this is the thing you have to be prone at and it is actually the way how you will be how you will be able to overcome misunderstandings here because uh, and um, a lack of uh, of a common ground in negotiations because you will be able to kind of uh, explain to yourself the very reason or all, all right why people aren't agree to your standpoint even though your standpoint seems and feels fair and the last card that we do have that is going to be the eight of wands and the eight of wands this represents um uh, how can I play the power of mind in your uh, in your particular case or rather uh, being able and agile to jump from one opportunity to another in other words if it doesn't happen in one way around you will immediately be able to find another way how to resolve the issue which kind of fits with the uh, uh, conscious changes that you are about to start making either into your family relationship or job and career it is very important that you uh, stay agile there all right now it is uh, uh, for what it seems is too late now to back off that situation which seems dead end situation all right but uh, it doesn't mean that it has to be a failure all right 
It's just uh, what you need to do here is to think about what you can do to improve your standpoint rather than to try to escape it. That is very important. And how you're going to reach to that conclusion, as I said, by listening to your inner voice and to your senses rather than to everybody that it is around you. Because um, I'm not saying that these advices you're going to receive from other people were wrong thing, uh, but these are how it worked for them. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. All right. So you have to find your own way to make it work. And that's going to happen through patience this week and being able to find your way around it. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading cancer uh, for July 30th to August 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.